Good morning everybody, Busy Dad here. Today I am at my secret fishing spot. It's so secret that I didn't even know because this is all new to me. Um, I am on the right side of the Hemingway Harbor. I kind of walked a little bit in uh, for about 10-15 uh, minutes and uh, I've never fished here. I know other YouTubers have fished here so since the water level came up I just wanted to um, come out and see and test out my luck here. So. I don't know if I'm going to catch anything, but if you're watching this video, it's most likely that I didn't get skunked. So other than that, uh, stick around and hopefully uh, we can hook up to some fish. So initially I have uh, two poles out with both of them with uh, frozen anchovies on a Carolina rig. Um, if things don't work out, or if I don't get any bites, then uh, I'll probably switch one to the carp setup. I also brought some lures, so I know there's some bass in these uh, coves, so I'll walk around and see if I can catch some bass as well. But And by the way, I'm filming this. This is uh, Christmas Day, actually, so, so uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Thanks for tuning in to my channel and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. He hung me up. Get out of the snag. Come on. Get out. Get out. You can do it. A little more. Okay, I think he's out. I think it's a catfish. Okay, let's get a weight on this guy. He's two pounds, one ounce. So just a two pounder. First fish of the day, a two pound catfish. Can you hear him? He's saying to like and subscribe if you haven't done so and share with your friends, right? Here, so I'm gonna, hopefully you're gonna go, okay. Ooh. Okay, and off he goes. All right, so first fish of the day. And I was just gonna mention my watch says 
It's really good time to fish now. I see like one, two, three, four, five, six fish on this radar thing. So I don't know if this thing really works or it was just a coincidence, but uh, maybe it is working. I don't know. I'm still testing it out. And if it does work and for a measly little 20 bucks, hey, this thing's God sent. So, so like I said, I've never been to this place, but uh, again, you know, I like to test out different spots and try new things. Sometimes it works out for you. Sometimes you just get skunked, but you know, it's kind of interesting because you'll never know what you'll run into. And it is the same body of water. So I know fish do, you know, they have their preference where they want to stay and feed and nest, etc. But, you know, you never know until you try. And uh, sometimes places that were good because of the water level going up, you know, it becomes not good anymore or inaccessible. Recently bought this little folding, uh, it's a styrofoam, but it's a cushion thing. And it actually makes a big difference. And I got this at a Daiso. It's a, like a Japanese uh, Dollar Tree kind of thing, but they have uh, pretty good items. Uh, they have some fishing items once in a while. They also have a lot of camping equipment. So uh, if you're looking for just a real compact, small um, cushion that you can just put on like a, if you're using like one of these or if you're just used to sitting on the ground, it's going to help a lot. And my watch says it's still time for fish to be biting. This morning I think was in the 30s. By the time I got here, it was in the 40s. It is chilly, but the sun's out now and it's a... Uh, not too bad at all. I did bring my uh, little compact burner, so in a little while I will boil some water and uh, make coffee. And then, uh... out of the snag. Ooh. I have a striper. Get a weight on this guy. I can tell he's already a skinny guy, but one pound, nine, nine ounces. So a little over a pound and a half. There's a little striper, but Hey, it's a striper and it's another fish, so I am happy. Uh, release this guy. Let's see, I could go down there, but... Okay, then off he goes.
Well, that's two fish. And my watch says, still says it's good time to fish. It's always so interesting when I have two poles out. It's usually one pole does way better than the other somehow. I wonder, it must be like a, the one pole going in the right spot, right depth, right, whatever the fish likes. Cheers, everybody. Come on, get out of the... It's wrapped around. I still feel him. Come on, get out of there. Get you out of there. It's wrapped around. Oh, I think he came out. Oh, no, he's hung up again. Like a, ooh, it's another catfish. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can land him.
this one's two pounds 12 ounces so it's a little bigger than the catfish we caught earlier but very nice size there we go Whew, thanks for eating my bait let's get you released you could kindly let go. Please let go. Okay. Okay. You go head first diving, okay? Oh. There he goes. Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in. It's about, uh, it's about noon. So I fished uh, approximately four hours here. And uh, first time I came out to the right side of the Hemingway Harbor and uh, there was a mild, you know, short hike, but uh, I might come again. I was able to hook up to uh, two catfish and one striper. So, so that was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Um, if you did so, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about the products or any location or the tackle I use, feel free to ask me anything in the comment and I'll get back to you in a day or two. Otherwise, I hope everybody has a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2024. And I will see you on my next one. Take care. Since I just finished fishing earlier, I thought I'd stop at a Hemingway Park uh, where you can see these uh, <coughs> big horn sheep come down. They usually come down around 11 o'clock. Um, right now it's about 12.30 that I stopped by so people can see that. Usually they hang out here a little bit, eat the grass. They usually go up the hill, up into the mountains, and who knows where they go, but 